Man, go figure YouTube. I'm out here tonight. Oh my god. Of course my phone fills up with I bring out the damn wrong phone. I was over here walking the pug. As I started walking this way, I ended up walking to about here and I had to stop the pug from going up against the wall over here. Over here up against the wall was some type of animal. At first I thought it was a possum, but it, it had no long nose. It didn't even have a long tail. Second, I thought it was a cat, but guess what? It was not a cat. Due to the fact that its pointy nose that looked out came out to like a, I want to say a V-shaped cone nose type thing, it looked pretty damn freaky. And I started shooting pictures with my other camera. I did catch pictures of it, but go figure, I'd bring out the wrong phone, and that camera sucks. Oh, I kicked myself in the ass. I should have never left this phone in the house. But then again, I get this phone, and the goddamn memory's full, and I had to do just a bunch of stuff to clean it up right now. Go figure. And now, oh my God, I can't believe what I just saw. But the thing of it is, is not only was it up against that damn wall and walked along it, and ended up ending up over under them two windows you see there in the distance. I'm trying to keep it low profile here because of the fact that I want people thinking I'm a people. Oh, I'm gonna sneak up here a bit and show you a little bit of the wall. And right along this wall it stood. It stood here, it crept up here, and I kept shooting pictures at it. Finally, it made it over there where that spot is under the AC. Now, this is the freaky thing. I stood over here. As you can see, I stepped back. And now you can see the AC in the distance and under the window there. And as I stood here and I pushed the camera down because I wanted to see what the hell it was. I wanted to check on the camera. So I pressed the camera, I brought it up. I, you know, enlarged it as I'm doing this. I couldn't figure out what it was. I was like, I got pissed off because the picture was blurry. So I clicked it off, and, and no matter than the time that I did this, I picked up the camera and started shooting pictures again. It was gone. Disappeared. Now, me standing here, I can see right out the side of my eyes. With my eyes, I got that side vision they have that people have and I did not see that sucker move across the grass. Oh hell no, it didn't come out. I didn't hear its feet pattering on the ground. Usually you do. Every time I bring the dog out and do my videos, you can hear the dog walking. That thing I did not hear move along that wall. That's the thing. I got my hair standing up on the back of my neck. Whatever the hell it was, the damn thing disappeared. Oh my god, it was up against that wall and I stood over here under this light trying to check my photo. And when I brought it back over and started shooting more pictures and I got over here with it, that thing was gone. I don't know where it went. It did not come out here. And as I was looking too down over there, mind you, the pug, I kept him on a short leash, stood here and stared over in that distance. And he did not move at all, mind you, to even, he came when he came out here and saw it. He went right up to it. I mean, I didn't let him get close to it, but he got enough close to see where I seen it due to my eyes shifting with the friggin' light over here and trying to adjust with the darkness. You know, I stopped him in the nick of time. But he did, he stood right there, no frickin' lie, and did not move or chase the thing coming out or even attempt to run after it. He just stood there and stared at it and it must have disappeared in front of his damn eyes. Oh my God, I got a picture of it. I even showed my wife, and she was just freaked. And she noticed that it, the tail was very short. I don't know what the hell it was. There's no holes over there that the thing could have went down into. It's impossible. I mean, I'm going to check real quick. I did check earlier. Let me take another look. I'm just going to bite there. But it would not fit 
This thing was big as a cat. I get over here, it was standing right there, right in between them two blotches on the wall. And I don't think it went up that. back over here and I was looking for it. I might have thought I went down in here and I brought out my night camera. And here we go. Keep driving buddy, keep driving. I brought out my night camera to see if I can see anything in this bush but I went back in the house because I had to put the dog away. But I, that's what I did after I seen or looked. I, uh, to see where the damn thing went. I immediately came over to this bush. I immediately ran down that hill out in the road to see if it would come out anywhere. And it did not. And I stood across the street and waited. Now whether or not the damn thing came out when I went in the house. But like I said, this is no, no possible way. That could have happened because that dog would have seen it running across this and would have chased it. And he didn't move when I stood in that area right over there. So that being said, I think I found out what I've been encountering around here. I don't know why that thing appeared like that. I don't know what the hell type of animal that is. But I got pictures of it. And I, oh my God, I'm still mesmerized of the thing just disappearing. I'm just damn goosebumps. And I don't, I'm not the type of man to get goosebumps easy. I got goosebumps at the Revolutionary Cemetery. And I got goosebumps everywhere else I go. Like, not strong ones, but yeah. But this damn thing... And I'm looking now with my night camera in here. And I have this camera light on. And I mean the dog. I mean we went over there on that side of the street. And he was looking. And when I came back over here. Because I was bringing him back in. And I stood right at this tree right here. Because I wanted to see if the damn thing. Would have came out along this ridge. of the Where the bushes are. The dog literally stopped right here. And looked straight right back up there. And I mean he just kept staring. And I mean it, it interrupted his bathroom break for Christ's sakes. i never seen a dog ever look like that in my life. And because they have been around this area for so long. I've walked this many many times. And I mean up in that window up there. There's a woman that has cats that comes out and in and out but that was no damn cat and she hasn't been letting her cats out lately usually it comes out they come out you see them wandering around but that was no damn cat that I saw the eyes are different the eyes I can't even explain in the photo oh man they're just they're just uh they're squinty, more squintier than a cat's eyes. That's how I know it wasn't a cat. And you can see, eh, I wish I had a better shot of it. But the, and the, uh, oh man, the, the uh, pointiness of its face. You can make out. Cats do not have pointiness. Unless maybe, maybe a Siamese cat. But it was not Siamese. It was too fat. Siamese cats are more thin. You know, I know my cats because I've owned cats. So, yeah. Whatever that was, it had to be an animal spirit. I just don't know what it was. Oh, man. I'm going to put that picture up in the thumbnail. I'm going to blow it up. But still, that dog, I, like I said, I was up there. Looking at the picture, and if that thing would have ran down across here to come into these bushes, as you can see, there is pathways in here that the dog would have chased it. That dog does not like other animals. It's a pain in the butt sometimes, but still, 
that dog stood there until I moved and started looking for it. And I mean, yeah, there's more ridges of the bushes and I'm trying my damnedest to make much noise, walk around, if it was anything to come in these bushes to make it come out, but it didn't even come down here. That thing disappeared up against that wall. And I don't know where it went. But lately, this is what I've been getting. I don't understand it for the life of me. I'm opening up doors, I guess, to the other side. Even animals are communicating with me. Wow! Believe it or not, I don't care what people believe. I have pictures of this thing, and it is not a cat, it is not a possum, I'll keep saying it. Oh man, that's freaking insane! I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do right now? Let's take a little walk. I'm gonna turn my night vision back on. I'm gonna take a little walk, baby. See what I can find. And uh, I'm gonna record on this too. Get some recording going. Night vision's on. And I'm gonna take a little stroll. See now it's down here. If anything did come down. How's that? If I don't fall on my ass in a steep friggin' hill. Hell, I just saw. Ah, oh, man. It's too damn steep right now. I'm gonna take a little stroll this way. Full friggin' beer. Mother oh, pus bucket. Oh, out here wasting malt liquor. Huh? I'm gonna smack somebody. I'm throwing away the booze. Damn. Balance and slip down the hill. I don't want to break this camera. After that, find. Freaking damn. I'm gonna see if there's something down here. That animal. If anything, that thing would have ran back in the woods. I'm just gonna take a damn look and see if it's out. That happened about. 20 minutes ago. Oh man, I can't. Oh man, I can't believe that. That just freaked me out though. That freaked me out. I ain't never had an animal just stand there. And like I said, you didn't even hear it. The thing is, I guess, oh man, you knew it was a damn ghost. Because you didn't hear the damn thing. This phone memory don't screw up. On path. We are now entering the uh, power line area. Also, the Manusnock, Wanusnock brook used to run along this. I've done many videos in this area due to the fact that I think Indians did wear fishing. I believe this meadow, Meadow Brook Village was a Indian living grounds. Alright, I'm out here now where animals would pretty much go through come up there, run and get into dumpsters, but guess what? I don't see nothing. That thing moves slow. Oh man, that was nuts. That was insane. Yeah. 
and we'll see it out here. That thing would be moving, slowly wandering, walking. You'd hear the crunching in the grass out here. Or even the weeds. Right, so this leaves right here. here. You would be hearing this right now if it made it this far. Figures. Get the hell out of here, don't need you. Hit the button. Screw up on my audio. Oh, that's insane. Yep. Yes, sir. I would have seen that thing. Heard it already. Standing on here. Oh man. Animals would come down here too. Got both cameras running, so. See, that sucks. I can't believe I just saw that with my own two eyes. And then the damn thing disappeared, man. Come on, what the hell? Phew. I can't breathe right now. So damn excited. I caught something unknown. Fuck! Trigger! Why is this wind picking up? Do you have to go now? Screw my audio, stupid. Boy, I'd be up Craps Creek if a freaking tree breaks now. All these old trees are gonna snap and fall on my head. Thanks a lot, wind. Excuse me. Had to spit to Yep, still nothing down here. Of course, like I said, I bring out the crappiest phone. Oh man, not right. Now I gotta bring my night vision out. Every time I walk. What the hell? Someone's crappy vehicle. <laughs> what the hell was that? Alright, plane. I'm gonna go fly somewhere else, you pecker face. Got some cracky noise over there. And mind you, it's coming over by a church. Ah, oh, well, I'm out of here. I gotta get back up. Let's see what the hell that is. What is that? Some crap. Sound like some crappy car driving by. No. What we got going on over here? Ow. Strange noise. I'm gonna lift this phone over my head. Shut up a minute. Until I'm done walking. Let's see what happens.
it's been a crappy car. Unbelievable. Oh. Battery's going dead. I gotta get out of here, people. Oh well. Glad I gotta shut this down. Battery's going dead. Light just went out. See what I catch tomorrow night, people. Oh man, whatever that was. It was not a yeah, it was not a cat. I'm sure in the hell it was no possum. Till next video, YouTube Nation. Be safe, take care, and make sure you always and I will make you believe. Out.